Hello and welcome. I am Maruba. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna play some Dota 10 on 10. Dota 10 on 10. That's right, 10 heroes, 10 players on each team. I've decided to play as Wraith King. Uh, I don't think I've played as Wraith King in this game mode before. But I like the idea, the idea of playing with this because um, I believe that uh, if we go for a specific build like, say, a Scepter, an early Scepter with this character, we could have a lot of fun and uh, basically just make it so that even if they have an advantage in a team fight, because there's so many of us, um, the chances of the Scepter ultimate working will be pretty cool. So the way that works, if you're unfamiliar, it gives them... Um, Oh, let's look up. I think you have to look on the scepter if I remember correctly. Here by Ally, allied heroes slain, they will have, be transferred to Wraith, have their death delayed by seven seconds. So they still die, and the enemy still gets credit for the kill. But for seven seconds, they can cast all of their spells, and they're still around, still doing lots of damage, and it's just good. So that's a lot of dudes. Got a pudge on their team, so let's look at our lineup. We got Marana, so we got um, AoE, Global Ultimate. Uh, sorry, Global. Yeah, Global Ultimate, Moonlight Shadow. We got Zeus, we've got Sniper, we've got lots of good globals on here. We got Track Gold, sweet. They've got, um, she can be really good for range heroes. We should try to contest the runes. I mean, they do have Pudge, so we've got to be a little bit cautious here. The battle begins. There's a lot of dudes over there. I think, I think Vampire Core is going to serve us better than a stun, honestly. No! I got nine gold. Did you see that? I just got nine gold there. All right, uh, there's a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay, ah, we guys. No, no, don't hook me. Don't hook me. Get the hell out of my way. Dude, he's nuts. He's nuts. There's too many people in there. I can't go in there. I'm going to the lane. This is this is crazy. It's like seven of them. I just want to go up here. I just want to earn my like two gold per second because this game mode increases the amount of gold per second that you earn. It doubles it, I think. Normally you earn about like one per second ish. So. This game mode, because there's so much less CS available, since there's twice as many people and the same number of creeps, it gives you uh, a lot more gold per second to compensate for it. Okay, we're suddenly taking a lot of damage. Amazingly, there's only... Only two of us up here. So we're actually going to get some pretty good experience in this lane if we stick around. That's gonna break. Yeah, that mana burn. And now there's three or four of them. Axe is up here now. Alright, regular boots. Probably gonna wanna... In this game mode, I think we're definitely gonna wanna pick up a magic stick. Probably even before the, uh... Regular boots. Just gotta leech some experience. Get our ultimate up. Sadly, we're, we're two melee heroes in a lane with two strong ranged heroes and a stunner so I delay this tower going down This is, uh, it's not really where I want to be. I missed. Well, I'm going to make it painful for him. But, uh, this is not looking good. Alright, well, we didn't die, even though I missed that, uh, that correct tango. There we go. Vengeance! Vengeance is ours! It's two to two so far. Axe doesn't even have boosted speed yet, so that's why he's having such a difficult time. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna go for the magic stick, plus two travel, two, two teleport scrolls, yeah, words, two teleport scrolls. Probably another healing salve, and if we can fit it a clarity, because, uh, I need to get out there and, uh, stick in this lane for a while. I'm just glad we didn't die. And by we, I mean me. Too bad you'd get experience per second in this game mode. That'd be kind of cool too, but... That'd be a bit nuts, probably. Alright, well, I'm gonna come back out here again. Jungling in this mode, I think, is inadvisable. Um, Oh, 
All right. And this is where, if we can, we want to stick around and try to get behind them in a position where they're not going to expect me. Possibly kill that Drow Ranger. Okay, we almost have our six, which is going to be splendid. We can get regular boots. Uh, a blink dagger would be really good. But uh, I'll settle for just, you know, not being dead. I am zero and zero, but I've had four assists so far. All right, we got our ultimate, 160 mana. We could use one stun and then still have enough mana for our ultimate. He saw that I was there and he's trying to use those trees for vision. We do have our ultimate, but the the first sunblood has a huge cooldown. So we prefer to not just give it up, you know, for the sake of giving it up. I really, I really need to get these boots, boots of speed. Seven to seven. Snipers died. Who on our team has died much? Hmm. I have uh, exactly one CS so far. Five minutes into the game, that's a bad sign. Normally as Wraith King you'd want to have uh, a fairly substantially large amount at this point. Still, um, our gold per minute is not horrible it's simply because we've got the uh, increased gold per second, so... It's pretty unlikely that anyone in this game is going to let things stay, stay paused. Just too many heroes. Got an invoke runner team as well. Alright, maxed stun. Team fight happening down here. Okay, coming back, never mind. We are in a All right, I participated. I'm awesome. <laughs> that was good. So part of the reason why we go for this is for the uh, armlet of Mordigian, which I think we do want to take. Um, power treads over armlet. I'm not sure. Looks like our undying is disconnected right now. Without a blink dagger, I can't really force any like team fights. I can't just blink in and be super good or anything. Not yet. No one's in the middle lane right now. Alright. I behind this tree for the second. Second here, maybe. Maybe if Axe overextends, we can get some... Nope, no track yet. Still have, uh... Now we have two heroes that are disconnected. It's 8 on 10. Hmm. Unfortunately, one of the major drawbacks to this game mode is that there is no... No real penalty whatsoever, since it's considered to be a custom game. There's no penalty to quitting, so... A lot of times you don't, you don't end up seeing full 10 on 10 games to the very end. I have recently done, uh... 10 on 10 with people with on Twitch, like just people from the, the stream, and we usually end up with a pretty good, pretty very highly consistent gameplay. People stick around. Let's just hope that a couple people leave from their team leave. Alright, well. Basically one on four, so. This guy was way too far away to participate. Zeus Salt is, uh, I like his, uh, his set. Looks pretty good. Fortified. 
There goes our uh, two, uh, 260 second cooldown on our ultimate. That's going to take a little while. I think we got some good pushing down here. Terror Blade. The enemy's bottom tower has Ancient Apparition has 2,000 gold. A lot of people have a lot of money right now. Let's finish this uh, up. Some treads. Your top tower is under no. Waste the money, but it is what it is. That is a fantastic combination. The Ancient Apparition ult with uh, Zeus ult. Gets them low enough and then Ancient Apparition can split them. You know, shatter them. Eh, nice try. You missed. Okay, um, I think probably my next item is going to need to be Blink Dagger. Maybe Armlet. I'm not sure. Armlet would be really useful. Eh, let's go ahead and get the Armlet. It's really cheap. Excellent DPS on a strength hero like us. And since we have two lives, it gets effectively double the, the benefit. Excellent. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. I don't know what the hell this guy's thinking either. <laughs> it's not a good idea to just come in and just like, oh hey, look, it's a Wraith King. Sur 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 surely he's all by himself, right? No. I mean, granted I was easy to kill last time, but I was uh not by myself this time. Nice, starting to hit these guys pretty hard. Right, I don't want to forget that uh, one of my goal items for this is to just get a, uh, I want to get a scepter, even if it's not a, like, standard item on this hero. Easy peasy. Despite the fact that we've got these guys gone, we sell their stuff yet? Yes, we can. I don't think they're coming back. Unfortunately. The fact that they're gone means that we get even more money per second because, uh... You are in my presence. They'll still earn money per second, and then it just gets spread out between all of our characters, so... Actually, not that big of a problem. We only need another 100 gold, and we've got our armlet. And then, uh... Maybe instead of going for the Blink Dagger, I just go straight for the Scepter. Just for fun, you know? See how well it works out in this game. It'll benefit me too, if I actually, when I die, I still turn into a Wraith for another 7 seconds. I think so. I think for fun. I mean, the, the Blink Dagger though. Mm. Oh, I ran out of mana. <laughs> Shoot. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Rats. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's already got a scepter? No. That was just a lot of... A lot of Star Storm stuff falling down. Hmm. Glass cannon build. No HP. Eh, we'll see. Might work out for him. Hmm. What is this guy using on dying for? I don't like this. Okay. Alright. I mean, if, if you really want to. I don't know if it's a good idea to actually bring him out with no items, but... Rats, I can't believe that I, I didn't check to see if I had six, uh, 300 mana. Maybe I got mana burned. I'm not sure. Still I rise. Who's in charge here? 
Alright, we need to get some T1s. We got the T1 and the T2 bottom, but we didn't get anything else mid. Works for me. Get rid of this. Nice shackle. Oh, that's gonna be good. Could have been this thing as well. Well, I don't know if I actually use that that effectively, but she's starting to get pretty strong. Still, I think we're doing all right. Twenty-nine to twenty, considering it's a. Uh, Considering that we are playing, uh, Timid. what is it, 8 on 10? Not too bad. Kyrian's probably still right near here. Still have some concerns about actually like moving around too much. Just potential to run into so many enemy heroes when it's eight on ten. With that fury, and there's no telling exactly where they have wards. You very easily have put them almost everywhere. Really wishing I had a blink dagger now. Oh, she blinked in. She's dead. We are in Oh well. Eight seconds away, sadly, but uh, we were close. Got a dominating streak out of that. Six and three so far. I've gotten my level three ultimate now. It's a shame that we didn't get to use it there. And we're only a hundred gold away, actually, from having this uh, scepter, so... I still think I need to get a blink dagger, but, um... I just wanted to try out the scepter. That's the main thing, main goal of this campaign. Or, ca campaign? This, uh, this game. Wait a second, Undying's showing that he's got 4,000 gold. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this money doesn't actually come to us. Didn't think we're Sniper. He's got 4,000 gold as well. Well, that's a shame. Alright, well, we have our Scepter. Now I just need the mobility to get the positioning that I want. On the other hand, we could go for Blink Dagger. Sorry, uh, Shadow Blade. Which I think is, um, for combat, it's a significantly large, like, the, the Silver Edge can be significantly better than, uh, Blink Dagger. I might. We'll see. Well, my ult is up. I should just dive in here. In my 
pretty good chance Pudge is going to be nearby. Hey guys. See if we can bait them into coming out here. Gonna have to use this. Alright. Well, I have a man, grand total of 90 HP. It's quite a bit, right? He's just gonna go invis unless we get the blink or the track on him, which we did. Good. Still, I'm strong enough now I can actually heal up on these creeps. Not to mention armlet of Mordigian actually is pretty good HP regen over time. I need either the Shadow Blade initiation or I need the Blink Dagger. Technically the Blink Dagger is a little bit cheaper, but Ah, I had the crit, but I'm all by myself now. So what if I swagger? Oops, that was a Got my ult up, but I didn't, unfortunately. I didn't, unfortunately, the- I was not able to use my magic wand in time to get my freaking Damn it. <laughs> That's twice now I've died with my ultimate up, because I'm playing like crap. <laughs> Pudge is doing pretty well. 14 plus sheep. Still, we have 45 to 31 kills. Uh, probably because of that mid-game early, like, early-ish advantage we had from getting some of the cell gold from the leavers. But, uh... So I'm disappointed to see that these guys have 4,600 gold on them each. A 9,000 gold spread between eight characters would be pretty significant. That's a thousand gold each, or a thousand gold each. Pudge already has his blink dagger, aether lens. It looks like he's working toward a uh, working toward his own scepter. Nice juke. Your top tower is under attack. Tissa. King requires. Wise. Crew. Too bad. I, I don't seem to be getting any crits on enemy heroes. Saved them all for the uh, creeps, apparently. I think I'm gonna go Shadow Blade. They don't seem to be carrying much detection. It is uh, degraded down to an eight versus nine now, so that's all right. We still have T2 mid, T2 top. Alright. Damn hook. Crap. I'm not supposed to die first. <laughs> Alright. Vengeance. Good. Scepter on, on her is so good. She'd be a fun, fun here to play in this game mode, come to think of it. Cause she's she's one of those heroes that like she's not always usually a high position character, and so she doesn't get a lot of farm. But when she gets a lot of farm, she's really good. Nice escape, nice, very good. This floating Zeus animation looks very strange. It reminds me of Lich. Every time I see it, I think of Lich. We actually we don't have a Lich on our team, but I feel like we have a Lich on our team because he I don't know he just feels like a Lich to me the way he hovers like that. Okay, um, don't really think we want to get rid of any of these items just a second, but um. If anything, it's probably going to be the magic wand, now that we have a little bit of extra mana from a scepter. 
We took down the T2 mid, and even though I've died five times, um, we're doing okay. Zeus is level 24. Their highest level character is only in the 18, 18 to 19 range. Surprisingly, it's that guy. Marana's already 25. She's 14 and 3, that explains it. That's why these guys are so, so much higher level. Playing a lot better than I am, but uh, you know what, I'm having fun. That's what's important. Nice, look at the range on that thing, damn. Scepter, Maelstrom. Where's that, where's that sexy track gold, huh? Damn it, I was out of position if I had a blink dagger, I could have done it. The T2 top. I need the slot, so we're gonna get rid of this thing. Even though I kinda could use the mana on occasion. That would be a pudge. Wise counsel. And while I distract them with my death animation, we take down the top racks. I think that's good. Sick. Just sick. That is a lot of buybacks. Should get the hell out of here. By ourselves now. Okay, um, looks like we can actually complete- Holy crap! 5,000 gold! Oh my god, the track gold, the tower kills, the, uh, the rack skills, like everything just piled in all at once. We, we can't afford to keep this thing. Yep, should've expected that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> By any oh, that's good. Well, I was planning on selling the Quelling Blade, but apparently we weren't allowed to because Nyx was on me. Well, uh, I don't think we want to get a Divine Repair on our character. I'm going to go home. If we're late enough in the game, I think I'm actually going to switch over to, uh, Boots of Travel. And we've got our Silver Edge now, and I think we want to go for, like, a Moon Shard. Because we can easily upgrade that into something else. Like, we can, we can consume it and then make the final item, probably Assault Curus. Maybe Assault Curus first would make more sense. I don't think they're going to give me time. I'm going to... I'm gonna miss out on the, the rack skills. Yeah, bottom's already dead. We have Mega. So, did I carry my weight? No, not really. I'd say that uh, Zeus and Marana ran away with it. So did Invoker. <laughs> Crazy game mode. And there goes four of them. So, even though we, ended up, we were down two heroes for a lot of the game, so a lot of variation to overall skill on, on different teams. Invoker's dead. But not really. Not for seven seconds. Alright, cool. So, 
Unfortunately, you can't see things like gold per minute in uh, 10v10. Doesn't show that information, but you can see who ended up with the most gold. Undying and Sniper ended up with 12,000 each. Nice. Good work, guys. Uh, yeah, MVPs. Apparently no one had any items, probably because they all quit. Did, did Crystal Maiden, like, actually sell all their gold or something? Or I don't know really what happened. Maybe when you sell their items, you don't actually get the money, because normally you do. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's Dota 10 on 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hear that I'd definitely like to try out... Excuse me. Would be, uh... It was... I would, I would love to try out Marana. Getting that scepter on Marana seems like a lot of fun. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here. Uh, well, obviously I'm gonna take a break here. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.